it's never over in these series or in these games until you get that last out. So, you know, it almost seems like the last team to hit wins. And uh, it's something special. I just want to be a part of it. They're heading for New York, and Kurt Schilling, the injured Kurt Schilling, will try and get them into a seventh game. We had to find something that was going to allow my ankle the flexibility to at least push off the rubber a little bit. Dr. Morgan came up with the suggestion to suture down the skin between the dislocated tendon, the tendon that was still in place, to the tissue above the bone and basically create a wall where my tendon can't pop back in and out. It was a very unique situation. Either we did this or he didn't pitch. And he was determined that he was going to pitch no matter what it took. We did it and it worked and uh, I felt like I was going to be able to, to do it. He gets an opportunity to walk on the mound at Yankee Stadium and fulfill that goal of shutting up the 55,000. Everybody who's got a soul for baseball wants to see this. I can't ever remember this place being more alive than it is right now. I'm scared to death. I didn't want to fail again. I looked at it as a chance to redeem myself and keep my team alive. Shelling races to the bat. Yankees don't score. Then, out of the nine hole, came a resurgent bat. Bellhorn drives one down the left field line. Matsui on the move. It is going a home run. The crowd has been taken out of it. The pitching of Schilling. Schilling left after seven heroic innings. Meanwhile, the Yankees' frustration was growing as they flailed wildly, looking for an edge. He tracked him. He dropped the ball. It rolls down the right field line. Jeter hitting third. He's going to score. Second. He slapped the glove with his hand. Now they're pointing. He's out. A-Rod is out. The once confident Yankees were on the verge of losing three straight. And you know, we've been saying since we're down 3-0 that, you know what? Pressure's on them. Let's go out and make history. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He threw a fastball by him. Game seven coming up tonight. The Red Sox did make history by becoming the first team to force a game seven after trailing three games to none. But still, there was unfinished business. We have a chance to shock the United States of America. What about the world? The world. All right, the world. There you go. <laughs> They're watching in Japan. We'll, we'll shock them, too. <laughs> it's deja vu all over again. Here we go. Game seven, New York. The beauty of Game 7 for me is I pitched because watching is so nerve-wracking, especially what happened last year. Um, we're so close. Derek Lowe, he wasn't even supposed to pitch in this series as a starter. Banished to the bullpen. What he did in New York was fantastic. On short rest, he went out there for six innings and gave every, he gave more than he had. Swing and a miss for a strikeout. Lowe pumps his fist. It was like all the fury was, was built and we, it slowly came out. And by the time we got to Game 7, it all just poured out. Playing a drive hammer deep to right field, way back, and this ball is gone. High drive to deep right, grand slam, Johnny Damon. Johnny Damon, six RBIs tonight. We had a convincing lead, but I wasn't going to smile until after that game. I do remember the one thing we were saying in the dugout for the entire length of game seven. Five, six, seven run lead was they're not going to quit, so we can't. And the Red Sox continued to tack on. That's been the key to this. Pokey Reese has it. He throws the first, and the Red Sox have won the American League pennant. The greatest victory in team history. And they do it in Yankee Stadium. Move over, babe. The Red Sox are American League champions. We did it! We did it! I told you! I told you! Greatest comeback in the history of the game. Number one, baby. We took it to another level. We might never have another chance to come into Yankee Stadium and put some things behind us, like 49, 78, 03. Because a year later, we're back here, we get a chance to do it, we do it, after being down 3 nothing. so that's incredible. Hey, Dio, look at this. American League champ. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I was so happy to do it and actually happy to get over the Yankees. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Why not us? just more so relief, relief that, that our fans can breathe a little more. 
I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so happy for you. That was pretty special for me. Look around. I know. You know, the year before, I had to walk off the mound, the losing pitcher. I actually got to stand on that mound and hug a lot of my teammates. Fenway, and they will be ready to go in Bush Stadium. Two of the most emotionally charged fan bases in all of sports. It is definitely an old school type matchup with Boston and St. Louis. Old school. Like when Boston and St. Louis first met in the 46 World Series. The first of four Game 7 losses in the Fall Classic for the beleaguered Boston franchise. After that last game in St. Louis, we're in there, everybody with their heads down, and I looked down the other end, maybe about 10 feet away, and there's Ted Williams. He's actually wept. Many tears have been shed in Red Sox Nation during the 86 years since the team last won a championship. The 2004 squad was fully aware of the history and the burden they carried as the 100th World Series got underway. I'm here to play not just for me, but for you know the guys that have been here and lost. To actually bring it over, it's gonna be a big thing, and I hope we make that dream come through. The curse of the big poppy. One, two, yo. Red Sox Cardinals live in Fenway. Both Sox are back in the big dance. Get your World Series squad card and line up. It's a cold night here in October. And the fans in Boston could care less. For the first time since 1986, they get a chance to see their beloved Red Sox in a World Series. Since I was drafted in 93, you hear so many fans talk about winning a World Championship. And, uh, you know, every year has been that, you know, that year that we needed to win it. Dude, dude, you need to stop. <laughs> Have some fun. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. Greatest time of your life. You know what? Win it. Win it. Win it. Two teams that are set to do battle, and we expect to see a lot of offense. And here we go. One, two, yo. Right now, we're rolling with big names. We haven't got time for playground games. As loud as you can. Yo, yo, yo. Pitch. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Line drive deep to right if it's fair. It's gone. Three run homer. Big Puppy does it again in the first inning of the World Series. Three nothing socks. Yo, no matter what you're doing in life, you have to set goals. Taking control of what is yours is the aim. So tackle your way through. Don't let them tell you how to make moves. You're a winner. Four straight hitters have just clobbered the ball. Third ball, grounded right past third, a fair ball. But another run is in to make it seven to two. And the Red Sox picking up where they left off against the Yankees. In a blur, the Red Sox had forged a commanding lead, but walks and an outbreak of errors allowed St. Louis to creep back and tie the game at nine. Red Sox fans had to wonder if 2004 would be just another frustrating year of almost not quite. Coming in, Ramirez, not a good outfielder. He slides and he misses the ball. Ramirez, two errors in the inning. You know what it was. It was the curse, the curse, the curse, the curse. But these Red Sox were not doomed to repeat the past, and their hero in this contest would hit his third home run in as many games. Playing a high fly ball deep down the right field line by the pesky boat. Home run! No horn! The Red Sox lead it 11 to 9. Can you believe it? those situations you're, you're really not thinking about anything and that's kind of what I was doing I know it was you know pretty big once he got me with two strikes just kind of trying to put the ball in play and sometimes when you do that you just kind of let your natural talent take over the set by both the 0-2 swing and a miss and a change up there to catch him and it's over the Boston Red Sox have won game one of the 100th World Series They've now won five straight postseason games. 